Okay, onto the sheath strap mounts. So, these are the strap mounts that I've made, that I designed. Let's check them out. Looks a bit bright. Let's check them out. So they are identically the same, so you print two of them. However, this is version two that I'm working with. For This is the Katana version two. It's slightly different. And for version one, it's uh, slightly thinner. So this version two, the blade is slightly wider, like, like that. So it's around 0.5 centimeters wider. Uh, so this is slightly bigger, this one that we're working with. So, but they're obviously, um, the files are separated into different folders. So version one is uh, different and you will be able to uh, identify which one is which. Anyway, the difference between version one and version two is that the version one doesn't have pre-drilled holes. So as you can see, these have holes in them. It's got seven holes so that you can actually screw this uh, mount onto the sheath itself. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you see some holes. And this version two has them pre-drilled. Version one doesn't, but that's no big deal. You can drill them out yourself. Actually, for the, even the version two, even though the, dr uh, the holes are already there, I am probably going to actually drill them anyway, just to make sure there's perfect clearance. Uh, because when you're printing, there's gonna be some uh, imperfections in the tolerances and stuff. Anyway, so to fit it on, they actually go on rather easily. However, here, since I welded it with a soldering iron, it might be a bit of a tight squeeze. So let's try to squeeze it on top. Okay, not bad so far, not bad, not bad. Can we get it? And the way I made this as well, is so that it actually should cover up the area that we use the soldering iron on, where it welded it, so you, sh you should actually hide it. So you wouldn't need to paint over it or anything like that, which I find really cool. So yeah, this is just right width. So you see, it covers it up where the welding holes, were, ho welding markings were. Like if we can reveal it, here we go. You can see that welding marks with the soldering iron all the way around. They were there. But now we just put it on top. And they vanish. So for version two, I'm gonna try line up with the holes that are pre-drilled, that I've modeled into the model. Okay, that's that. But since I want to cover the welding marks, there's gonna be some difference in alignment. So let's just try to secure it in place. So. I've made this for, this is around 0.5 millimeters uh, M3 hex screw. So they're very tiny. It's 0.5 centimeters in length and it's an M3 screw. And we fasten it with an Allen key, Allen key drill bit that I got. So this is hex Allen key, basically drill bit. Okay, so let's, Let's try and do this. So I'm gonna first try to screw it in with a hole that does align. And see if I need to actually drill it. Do I need to drill it? Nah, this one I don't need to drill. I might need to drill other holes. And I'm not gonna over screw it because remember this is plastics that we're talking about. So the thread is very easy to lose. This isn't a metal thread, this is plastics. Plastics that haven't even been threaded. Uh, we're just basically tightening it to friction. And do it on the other side, exact same area. Let me increase the brightness a little bit. The ISO values. There we go. So remember, not too tight. So I've got seven bolts for two reasons. One, because it actually suits the aesthetic, because uh, the Cyberpunk katana has got loads of bolts here on the handle. So I'm trying to continue the style. And another reason is because since we're gonna have this actually strapped to the back of us, for example, if, if you wanna ride around with a bicycle like I do, I would have this strapped to the back of my back. And seven screws should actually keep it in perfect position without, uh, without this coming off. 
so it should be very very strong and the way I orientate this print is I print it like this so that the lines go around so this is where the strap goes through it's actually on both sides as well the strap holes you see so they go through that so that the strength is there in like if you were to pull it like that it should be fine and another thing this is also printed with fuzzy skin on I'm not sure if you can actually tell the detail because I'm working in quite weird conditions the, the sunlight outside is really bright and the contrast here is really dark so I'm working with a bit, of a bit of a difficult situation so here I might have a little bit of trouble see I'm not sure I can see that but the hole is really really off it's off by like one millimeter so but let's see if this can realign it by no nah, that, that just won't do it I'm just gonna slightly drill it which is what you're gonna have to do anyway for version one so it's a good way for me to actually show you how I do it so if, uh, also I think some of these holes I'm are gonna have to have uh, the bolt slightly trimmed especially for version 1 I think it was uh, these ones near the near the base reason being is because this is where the buttons go so this area is much thinner how can I them look better yeah that area see there is much thinner so it might if you screw these bolts as they are at the length they are they might get in the way of the buttons of these buttons anyway back to screwing I think now that this has gone been slightly moved this should fit in let's try it so I'm going to use slight bit of force just to get the thread going yep I feel it and it's going in and I stop when I feel the friction the the friction increase like I said I don't want to over over screw it to lose the thread because once we lose the thread it's kind of gonna decrease its strength like here I think I, I over threaded that over screwed that but that's fine there's just one of the screws I mean there's whole seven of them so that's loads and these are a bit awkward on the side but let's do them okay how nice is that look at that love the way that looks Okay, let's do the other one everything is exactly the same on this one so let's start off with just getting rid of any excess stringing also this is printed at 100% infill and as usual you will get the Prusa slicer example files but yeah you do need quite a lot of bolts for this so you need 14 bolts in total to actually mount this on um, and of course you don't actually have to do this I mean you can improvise and do your own methods you can just super glue it on if you want but that's not the way I designed it so I don't recommend it so see this is what I'm talking about so even mine even version 2 is gonna have uh, the bolt protruding so I'm gonna have to trim it down make sure I can show you this properly you see the glint there, the, the bright spot here? That's the bolt sticking out, which means it's going to get in the way of the, of the buttons. So I need to trim it down. So I've got two sets of pl uh, two pliers here. Oh no, it's one pliers and I forget actually the name of this. These are both pliers, right? Anyway, so we've got two bolts that we need to trim down. And I'll show you what I do. So. Grab the pliers. Is this focused correctly? Yes. Yeah, so grab the pliers and I put the bolt as close to the <laughs> pincers. <laughs> I've, I don't know these names, you know, of these parts uh, because basically that's how much I want to trim down. And now, if we like squeeze this together, this I might not actually be able to do it. You know what? Even if I would, 
some may not be able to so I show you how I uh, reduce the amount of power that you need so with these second pairs I grip them at the base not at the base at the at the very end because if you grip it at the base the power wouldn't uh, you will still need just as great of a force but if you do it at the very end and you squeeze it at the end here as well did, I, did you guys even see that? Because I'm very close up, so... Uh, sorry, let me rephrase that. So, if you get the, these wrench and grip it at the very end here, it'll be really easy to snap this bit off. So, but before I do that, I cover it with a towel because this is going to shoot. And now we squeeze. So, let me get it in the shot. You hear that? And if I just show you this now. Is it going to focus here? There we go. You can see it snapped it off to the exact length we need. So this is no longer really screwable. So we're just going to have, this is going to be more like for decoration, those two screws. Bolts, not screws. And do one more. Cover it in a towel because it's going to fly off. See what I mean? Yeah, I had it covered with a towel, but it flew off that way anyway. Anyway, we've got what we need. I don't know where that... Oh, there it is. That's the bit that flew off. So this is trash, the bits that flew off. I only need the ones that go on the, on the area. So, we're here. And for these two bolts, I'm going to have to use super glue. But before I do that, I'm going to do these bolts because I want to leave the super glue area to last. So I can just let it settle. Because if I work now and I, I risk getting super glue on my fingers and then getting it on the black. And if it's on the black, it's going to stain. Anyway, let's screw it in. Make sure you guys can see. I just keep on looking back at the monitor. Good. But yeah, for the version one, um, as you align it, you would want to drill a hole where the hole is on the on the mount for example if it was there I would just align it and drill it but for version 2 the hole is there or you can super glue it it's up to you okay actually so yeah oh yeah so I need to unscrew this because this one's too long and this long one can go in this this one won't interfere it's actually very short kind of want to put more super glue in this. This feels like a very, very weak uh, thread. So yeah, I'm going to actually put super glue, not too much, into both these holes. And I'm going to do the longer one first. Try not to get super glue on my fingers. Yeah, see, because it just like fell right in. Didn't even feel wrong at all. And then do the short one as well. You barely have to do anything here. Just make sure it's there. Okay. And the other side, I'm going to unscrew this and put more super glue on in this side. Let it go inside a little bit. And I'm not going to put the sheath, uh, I'm not going to put the blade inside the sheath until the super glue dries because I do not want any super glue touching the finished katana but yeah that's that awesome huh so let's zoom out show you the goodies yeah look at that baby how awesome does that look <laughs> 